Hello and welcome to our Discovery and Doxology series. I'm the president of the Trinity Forum, Cherie Harder. In partnership with the Templeton Religion Trust, BioLogos, and Church of the Advent, we're pleased to present a series of conversations conducted over the last year with scientists, philosophers, and theologians, helping us to explore the relationship between science and faith. The conversations that make up our Discovery and Doxology series address head-on the tensions that attend seeking to understand the proper relationship between science and faith as well as the possibilities for greater wisdom and wonder in appreciating the beauty of the created order and its author, and of evoking a doxology amidst discovery. This series will introduce you to some of the brightest scientific and theological lights of our own generation, and help you think wisely and well about the questions it raises. Most of the truly important things in our lives are governed by these kinds of non-empirical truths. So therefore the idea that somehow these should be in conflict is, is slightly odd because um, clearly empirical uh, science is not going to give us these really important also these really important questions, questions of morality, questions of um, how should I live. And yet we all have ideas about them. We're created to be makers. Uh, not supreme makers, but makers under the, the rule and the guidance of God. And I do think that when we make things like robots, uh, we might learn some metaphors or analogies to God's creative activity. The term AI won out, and I think not because it was more accurate, because it's not really, uh, but because it's more aspirational. And there's something about a term that we can't achieve, that inspires people to want to think beyond the limits of what is uh, you know, known with existing constraints and, um, and imagine. Uh, we are, I think we're made in the image of God and we are made as makers also. We are makers. How do I, as a scientist, who thinks every day about the ways that we could utilize the tools of science to make those discoveries. How can I also see behind all of that a creator God who is in fact responsible for everything thing we see around us and who's the source not only of natural creation but also the source of everything that I know about love. Thank you for your support for our work and we hope this discovery and doxology series inspires your own great conversations on the things that matter most. To watch these conversations in full, just visit our website at ttf.org. You can also listen to these conversations as part of a special podcast release available at ttf.org slash podcast.